Hello, I'm Jennifer Morgan, Executive Director of Greenpeace International, and I'd like to thank the Global Landscape Forum for inviting me to share an important message with you today that is very dear to me about climate change, nature, and people. As we look around in 2020, our planetary crisis couldn't be more clear. We face mega fires, violent hurricanes, intense floods, longer droughts, and species extinction at an unprecedented level. Of course, now we are also confronting a global pandemic because we humans simply have pushed nature to its absolute limits. Earth is screaming with all its might. Business as usual backed by polluted politics is the problem. The same destructive systems that are stripping our forests and oceans of life are killing environmental defenders and pushing others into peril. This must stop. To reset our relationship with nature, we need to change the way we produce and consume food, energy, and natural resources. A decade ago, governments made a commitment to protect biodiversity and nature, but as we all know, they failed on almost all targets and commitments. And as a result, nature is at a breaking point. With the CBD in May 2021, we have a few crucial months ahead of us to set a new direction. It is not possible to stay within a 1.5 degree Celsius target without dramatically reducing emissions from fossil fuels, from our use of land, and increasing the carbon uptake capacities of nature. We cannot count one against the other. All three measures are critical. We must be vigilant and not allow false solutions to dominate the debate, such as using precious land to offset the burning of fossil fuels. And to survive this climate and biodiversity crisis, we must make large parts of land and oceans off limits to industrial exploitation. This does not mean that we can establish new lofty protection goals at the expense of people and their rights, especially those of local communities and indigenous peoples. The moment is now to reckon with the failures of fortress conservation, which has evicted too many communities and inflicted grave injustices without succeeding in protecting biodiversity. To turn the tide on nature destruction, decision makers must listen to, support, and respect those who have lived in harmony with the land the longest. They possess knowledge we need to survive. More protection must mean a global push to demarcate and legally recognize customary lands for indigenous peoples and local communities and ensure that their rights are protected. Access and sustainable usage by indigenous and local communities must therefore be integral to the concept of protection. Any decisions we make in the next few years are critical. We cannot afford to get this wrong. As we craft these solutions, we must address the interconnectedness of climate change, biodiversity, inequality, and injustice simultaneously. We can't improve upon some while making others worse. We can't let corporations and private interests dictate the agenda. We need governments to step up and act and listen to what people want before it really is too late. Justice must be the guiding principle for planetary recovery. I thank you for your time and let us work forward together.